What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Home Wars. Pretty excited about this one. Uh, we got to produce some ammunition, dude. We are really, really ugly on ammunition right now. I think I'll probably produce like... That seems about right. I'm actually just going to take small caliber up because we have 12.7 and 7.62 are what we're using right now. And I actually started this episode and I went into battle and nobody had any ammo. So I was like, oh, that's not good. I think we're just chewing through our ammo too fast at the moment between all these auto cannons and whatnot. Now the house, the house layout right now, a little bit interesting. I think we're going to have to deal with some interesting attrition as we go into the game. So we're either going to, we're both going to have to pinch this and we're going to have to pinch this in order to take victory. Like that's just the truth of it. We're going to have to have an army here and an army here on our defense force. Otherwise it's just going to fall apart. And I don't think there's any way that we're going to be able to maintain any kind of control of the map. But once we take these points and these points, it's going to become a battle of attrition. Because right now the enemy is getting more supplies than we are. Uh, we carry four zones. The enemy is carrying five zones at the moment. That's not too bad. That means only they're only getting a little bit more than we're getting. But at the same time, what we need to do is pinch this, pinch this, then with the extra supplies, keep constant soldiers being reinforced to these locations so that over and over and over again, we can fight for them. And then in the Battle of Attrition, that'll force them into a position where their production is not as good as ours, and so we can just keep, it's, it's the Chinese solution, just keep throwing bodies on the fire until your enemy can't afford to do it any longer. And hey, I have no problem with that. They're just little plastic army guys at the end of the day, after all. Let's end it and see what the AI does. So I presume they would probably do that. They'll probably hit there and then there would be my guess. Oh no, they actually hit our home spot. And they hit our home spot with 60 groups of Formica Fusca. Good lord. Oh my god. 60 battle groups right there. That's... Sure. That's the biggest group we've ever seen thrown at us yet. And so let's move all these armies back. We gotta defend the home front. We have no choice. They just hit us with everything they have at home. And that's scary. Like, that should actually be pretty damn concerning. Uh, let's kick off a fight right here. We're going to defend this. Let's go on in. And that's going to... We've got more than enough here. I think we'll be fine. Let's get this done quickly so that we can actually bring people back home. Uh, I'll probably bring about 10 of the recon vehicles to reinforce on this side. I mean, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, this is going to be one of those turns where we're actually paying for the fact that we haven't made artillery because ants, they get chewed up by artillery. But the 12.7 cannons are kind of a middle ground solution. So it looks like they've governed... I don't really I really don't like these like control the point missions. Uh, the reason being is that even if you kill all the enemies, it still makes you capture everything and just like sit there for hella long waiting for it to end. I just I don't enjoy that very much. I do like how it's accurate about the areas of the house you control. So the doors that we control, we can reinforce. So this is the bathroom. This is the kids' room with our base. This is uh, the side room right there. And the enemy can only attack from the areas that they have control. That's kind of cool. It's a nice little effect. I like it. I'll probably deploy one truck over here to go and grab that. And then everything else is going to be a unified front over here. Because, screw it, recon vehicles are where it's at, apparently. Uh, we'll throw in one supply truck right there. I assume it's going to let me have infantry, and so we'll probably drop, like, a bucket of infantry over here, but I'll probably have them fall back during the deployment phase. Uh, turn that off, start the battle. You guys fall back to here. You go grab that. And once that done being grabbed, uh, you guys pull forward and grab this just to keep the enemy from getting too much in the early game. We don't want to give them too much hope, you know what I mean? Uh, these guys will fall back behind the line of trucks. We will also call you guys number twos. You guys will be number ones, and the truck will be our number three so that we have groupings everywhere that I want them. I would spread this out slightly over here into kind of like a line. Just to make sure shit doesn't get too rowdy. You guys reinforce that thin spot. You guys come over here, handle that. Very nice. And we'll just whittle. Let them try to take the objectives while we chill over here. There's no reason for us to overextend ourselves and do anything stupid. Like, the battle is theirs to lose right now, so I'm not going to stress about it. They can have the points, but they can't beat us in an open field. Like, we're just going to chew them up and get it done fast. Uh, this battle doesn't even really need to be fought because we have overwhelming numbers. 32 groups is not enough. 60 groups? 60 groups is looking a little scarier. That concerns me slightly more. I don't know how many ants are in each troop, but uh, let's go clean up detail over here. Grab that. 
You guys should be able to handle them no problem, so keep on firing. Yep, drop those bugs. Grab that position now. Uh, you guys go up to there. You guys push for there, and then that's going to be the mission. The enemy is routed, defeated, and destroyed. Let's just wait this thing out and win. That mission all out of the way, now we need to focus ourselves on actually the real problem. Uh, the real problem is this dude right here. This dude is actually pretty scary. Uh, 60 battle groups of Formica Fusca comes out to something absurd like thousands of ants. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot more than I think we can actively defend against with what we have down here. Like, we have 15 recons. And at that point, it becomes a question of what do I recruit down here. Uh, if I forestall my unlocks for right now, and we go after riflemen, that'll get us out of the hole as far as light riflemen are concerned. And in that case with riflemen, we could get a battle group of riflemen pretty easily. And then we could also get a few more recons and a supply truck, and then combine these two battle groups once we finish this off. I still am not fully convinced that this is going to be enough. Like, I don't know. I could pretty easily fold this army into this one, and then just have two groups. 18 vehicles right there. God, this is bad. This is, like, really bad. I don't know if I should defend and wait a turn or what I should do. I'm going to choose to defend because we don't really have a choice, but I don't think 18 vehicles and 30 of these guys are going to hold off 60 groups of ants. That's a lot. This is like, holy shit, who left the butter tub open on, like, a summer's afternoon during a light rain amount of ants. Like, this is bad. This is really bad, and we have to destroy their outpost. So, that puts us at quite the significant disadvantage... Especially considering I don't have a lot of supply trucks down here. I'm going to bring everything I can to bear. But I'm not going to feel good about it. We actually ran out of troops, so it expects me to bring more on this one too. Okay. Uh, with the trucks... Make those our ones. Go ahead and move those forward. Supply truck, as usual, you're number three. And then we're number three. We're number two. Uh, you guys are going to be the number twos. And honestly, I'd like you guys to kind of form a flank guard, I guess. I don't know how else this is actually going to function. Like, I don't think we could put enough rounds downfield to actually fight them like this. I mean, the good luck is that they can only spawn so much at a time. And we do get to start firing on them pretty early. But whether or not it's enough is the question. You guys fold back inside of here. It might have been a mistake to make the infantry. I mean, I might have been better off just dumping it all into vehicles. Uh, we're going to watch for whoever takes damage in here. Oh, those guys are both ones and twos. There we go. Taking a little bit of damage over here. We may be better off folding this flank in. That's just what I'm thinking, is bringing these guys up so they've got a better firing position might be a good idea because that'll put pressure on this side have the infantry pull back slightly vehicle you come back to here putting pressure right here means I might be able to turn the flank at some point are you guys getting healed he is good fantastic supply trucks making sure that he keeps healing on him at all times uh, bring these infantry guys up they've got the range right now so we just kinda gotta watch uh, the next wave is coming in. Uh, we are out of healing, though. Wow, we might actually feasibly run out of ammo on this one. So the next part that gets important here is watching which trucks are damaged and pulling them back to flanking positions. 
while at the same time keeping the healthy ones in the front. Our supply truck is already out of supplies from healing everybody. I'm going to watch and make sure that no damage gets too far out of control here. Shouldn't be. I think you guys need to keep it popping for right now. I think that's it. I was actually really worried about that battle because 60 battle groups is pretty hardcore. I don't know if it was this guy that was saying he was out of ammo or who was saying he was out of ammo. They all look like they're okay to me. Let's just bring them up here and we'll get them lined up on the enemy's outpost and wipe this out. I don't know why the enemy has an outpost right in front of our base. Apparently, our spy squadrons have been doing our... our our Black Ops teams have been doing very poor. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. We can only destroy their base with explosives. So... This is kind of a weird matchup. This would be the point at which in the game I would say that there's actually a problem here. Like, why am I getting a base attack mission when it's not a base attack situation? Like, I'm defending my base, so why do I have to attack theirs? Shouldn't they logically be having to attack my location instead of me having to attack theirs, which doesn't exist because I control this zone? It's just kind of a confusing thing to me, logically, where we're going to lose this battle. I have no way to destroy this thing, so I don't have sappers. I don't have explosives. I don't have anything. I don't have artillery, I don't have howitzers, I've spent everything I have just kind of on land units as of right now. And so, can't really do much there. We'll wait for this one to end. So there it is, it says we lost the battle even though we killed the enemy to the last man and we just couldn't destroy their little stupid thingy right there. Uh, I don't know how we make that happen, I'm gonna have to figure out how I can get sappers or something so that we can at least do this mission. Because I don't have any explosives, like I said, a little bit of a logical discontinuity there where they're attacking my base right now, why am I having to attack their base back? Shouldn't it be a defense mission? I don't know. The nice part is they have zero ants left here now, so technically it was a victory. It's just like inside the logic of the game. Mission inside the logic of the game, it thought it was a loss because I didn't get the objective done, but I killed every single one of their units. Fine by me. I'll take that. That's a victory for victory. I kind of wish I hadn't spent that XP. So if I wanted to get, now that I know, how do I get sappers? Where are like sappers at? Are they in general? So sappers are 100 XP. That's rough. I don't have 100 XP. That's definitely rough. I don't know if I want to focus on getting like a shit ton of... So if I go back to here and I go to the headquarters, a military academy costs me 60. That'll get me to 20 XP a day that I'm generating so that every three or four days I'd be able to buy something instead. I... Don't know what I want. How much ammo did that eat up out of curiosity? I'm also curious to close that. How much did that eat up right there? I'm very curious about, like, with my lightweight ammo. Like, I just want to have ammo. Like, that's all that I care about right now is having a ton of ammo so that, like, I was playing around and I had to cancel. I did this episode before and it canceled out because all my dudes ran out of ammo and it was, like, the weirdest situation I've ever been in. Uh, let's end the day. We'll start getting things ticking back up. Oh, my God, another defensive mission. These dudes are hitting us hard right here. Oh, what do they have? 30 groups and 18 groups. That's not horrible. Especially if I bring these cats up. Ah, you guys just got boned. You got boned. It kind of sounds like, I don't know, that one game. I forget what it was called. But the Bone Crusher. Like, the only thing cool about that game was the announcer. I forget what it was. It was that post-apocalyptic game where you had to manage, like, that big battle truck thing. It was just, like, rolling through the desert. It was something like that. I should probably combine some of these, like, groups right here. But then again, they do allow me a mobility that I didn't have previously, so I don't know. I'll move the vehicles over all into one group. What are you? Three vehicles? All right. Yeah, let's collapse all these vehicles into one battle group so that it's not quite as... We've got a lot of vehicles running around, man. we got a lot of vehicles, and I think condensing them in some regard is probably a smart idea. And this is infantry right here, so you can combine with them, no problem. But also, you're a lot of infantry, so maybe you won't be able to. 
as far as these are concerned, there's 19 right there, so that would almost even it out. Eh, whatever. Yeah, you guys all come over to here and be a part of this army. There we go. Awesome. Now we've got everything condensed. Let's defend this zone. Hopefully it's not another, like, explosives mission, but eh, big whoop. Want to fight about it? Yes, I do. I'll click the button and fight you right now, bugs. Ah, it's this one again. All right. Well, I'm not going to start the battle. I always get hyped, and I click right here, thinking that that starts my deployment, and it messes me up. I don't know why I always do it, but I always do. Frankly, I'm just bringing trucks on this one, so I don't even care what happens. There we go. Start the battle. We're ready. Don't be out of ammo, you little turds. God, this is awesome. Troop stack blob. Who doesn't love a good troop stack blob? Everybody loves troop stack blobs. They're the best. And now, no, don't go over there. Go over there. I wanted one of you guys. There we go. You go grab that real quick. And maybe like four of you go over there with him. As we butcher the bugs. To the last leg. There we go. And then you guys push this center point right here. Which means that you guys are going to like kind of push upwards. And we're going to fight on two flanks right now. Because that's never gone wrong historically. Like, there's absolutely no chance that fighting a battle along two flanks has ever backfired on anyone. It always works out perfectly, and everyone's always happy. I'm really kind of overextending myself right now. Is anybody wounded, or is everybody looking good? I'm sure it'll be okay. We've created, like, a wall of bullets in between us and the enemy. God, these recon vehicles are dope. They are so much better than every other unit. They're the best. They're awesome. They don't fall down. They don't fail you. They never say, hey, I don't have time to, like, cook you a Hot Pocket. They always go out and cook you a Hot Pocket right when you want one. Oh, I know there's not a bitch-ass ant behind my lines. Hold on, hold on, hold on. we got to come around this way. Go shoot, go shoot these guys. You guys have got to break off. And I know that leaving a point exposed like that basically represents, like, a death flank, but I don't care. Shoot that thing. Don't let it steal our point. Look at that thief and little bugs try to take my point. Punks. Dude, you guys are getting obliterated right now. Like, for buggy kind, this is not a good look for you. We're getting overrun a little bit. Damn it. Get out of my ass. These bugs are too good at their job. They're too good at subterfuge. There we go. And I think that's the last of their reinforcements, so we should be able to just, like, do whatever we want over here. Just wipe them out real quick. There it is. They're all dead. We'll go capture all the points. And then we shall make awesome pictures out of our troops. Look, it says yay on the ground in toy cars. Hooray! Yay! We are the victors! See, that's the best part about winning against the bugs, is just taking a little bit of time to celebrate properly with your troops. Make sure that the bugs understand how much of a badass you are. So coming back in, we wiped them out. That's good, because that means we had a successful defense right there. We don't want them really running the blockade. In my headquarters, we're going to spend some time. We are losing batteries at kind of like a slight rate, but it's not a small enough rate. It, it's a small enough rate to make me not worry. We have like 40 turns until that becomes a concern. So I'm going to put in another military academy right here. There we go. Two military academies. So that now we're earning 20 XP a turn. Uh, it does make our metal production a little bit uh, scrubby, but... We'll make it work for right now. Close the management panel. If the enemy wishes to fight me, they shall fight me here. Uh, we're just going to let them die on this little turnbuckle we have right here. Like, I don't think there's any reason to press out super hard right now. Except that they're beating us in the resource queue. But I don't think they have many units left to fight us with. So I'm going to move these guys over to here. Oh, shit, son. They totally do. Oh, my God. They have so many bugs over here. Uh. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I don't even know if I can supply for this fight right now. Like, they base, But I have to hit this, right? Like, I have to hit it because if I don't, they're going to have a ton of units right here that are just like waiting to blob over and destroy me on the other side. So let's go to recruitment. We will start getting some more recon vehicles ready. 
We'll get rid of that last one so that we can have two supply trucks with this. Okay. There's a new army right there. They can't move right now, but they're just kind of chilling. I don't know how I want to handle this at the moment. This is pretty concerning. Uh, it's the last episode of the playthrough anyway, so let's just go for it. Screw it. I'm sure we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? It looks like it's, uh, 93 groups of Formica Fusca. Yeah? That's gonna be bad. The upshot is that this, this is probably it. Like, this is probably the final throwdown. Like, this is more than likely all they have left, in all fairness. And so... I'm going to offer up my base as a juicy sacrifice to the god of the bugs and I want normal riflemen please and hopefully they choose to chew on the base and not chew on my soldiers that's uh all I can really say about that one. Oh, I'm ready ready as I'm ever gonna be oh my good lord look at them fall from the sky here This is pretty rad, though. I mean, for a final battle in the series, you feel me? Like, it's looking pretty awesome. Like, we are chopping these cats up. Chopping these cats up hard. But how is ammo looking? That's the really concerning part. They are getting resupplied, so that's good. My big worry about this battle is that we don't even have the bullets to fight it. That's my big worry, is that, like, we lack even the bullets to properly fight this logistically. Like, what are you going to do? You know, chew the enemy to death if it doesn't work out the way you want? Uh, he's out of supplies, so there are no more bullets being supplied to our troops right now. This is it, as far as that's concerned. Whatever they can kill is whatever they can kill, and we will deal some damage, and hopefully on the next turn, if we run out of ammo, there's no, like, retreating in this game, I don't think. I could run around in circles for a while and just hope that that works. Ammo... has looked better. Some of these guys are getting a little bit low. Although the 7.62 machine guns still seem to be okay. It's the 12.7s that are running out right now. So it just sort of depends how they decide they want to use them. I do think that regardless of what happens, we are going to make a serious dent in the enemy right here. But it looks like they just keep coming. I mean, I don't even know how many groups we've engaged at this point. Luckily, everybody looks like they have a lot of 7.62 left, so they can fall back on that if the 12.7s fall apart. But wow, we actually went through bullets pretty quick there. Dude, tell me we killed them all. Is that it? That's all that they brought? Do we wiped out that many groups of bugs that easily? Oh my god, I expected... Yeah, these are definitely overpowered. These are a little bit stronger than I think they should be for this phase in the game. Good, sweet Lord Jesus. Well, we never got enough research done to do anything, like, fun and awesome. Like, that's disappointing. I feel like we're about to steamroll the game with one unit. Is that all of them? There's probably one trapped in a corner down here. There he is. Well, shit, bro. Nerf recon vehicle. They too strong, devs. Uh, we kicked the ass off this place, so I'm going to take this position because every faction can attack only one time in a turn. Oh, it's because I attacked that over there. That's what it was. All right, if they want to try and hit me with something else, that's fine. They can make an attempt, but I'm pretty sure I just neutered their combat force. And then I'll send somebody in there. Hopefully that's not like 50 vehicles. Oh, it's 27, which is more than enough to make me nervous. How did I pick exactly the wrong one, man? Here, you guys come over to here just in case you need to reinforce because you're like, what, another 15? So that's cool. With 100 XP, next turn we get to pick up a uh, bunch of helicopters, which will be pretty sweet. I'm excited about that. Do we use 30,000 bullets in that fight? Holy bejesus. That's a lot of bullets. Yeah, just buy me some more bullets, I guess. I don't want my troops running. I don't want to be that guy that doesn't supply his troops with bullets. That seems like a dick move. As far as unlocks go, 
75 gets us an assault troop. 120 gets us a machine gunner. Uh, the machine gunners are basically just shitty versions of the assault, the recon vehicles, so just use the recon vehicle. 100 XP gets us a howitzer, which I've been bitching about. A mortar vehicle would be even better. Rocket artillery sounds like my stuff. But next turn, two turns from now, two turns from now, bro, we can totally, we can totally get like, I'm just saying, two turns from now, I need to make like a logistics division is what I really need. I need to lay off some of these trucks and actually get supply trucks so that we don't run out of ammo. There we go. That'll work. Create that army, and then we'll move him into position on the next episode of Home Wars. If you guys like the game, make sure you check it out down below. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. It looks like we are going to stomp the hell out of this place. I don't know what it means down here by extra mission, but there's no bugs. So I'm going to attack it. Uh, do I need to attack here? Oh, there's a mission. What does a mission do? Oh, it gives us like a bonus thing. Oh shit. Defend the recon squad until the extraction. Okay. That gives us like hella aircraft. Well, we'll see what happens in the next episode. If you guys want it, let me know. I'll see y'all later. If you like what I do here on the channel, check out the Patreon. Goodbye, everybody.